Sherry Bustos is on the line with us. Uh, Sherry, welcome. Well, thank you very much, Tom. Thanks for joining us. You are a former journalist running for Congress in uh, Illinois' 17th district against uh, Tea Party Republican in a fairly tight race here. The website is Sherry, C-H-E-R-I, Bustos, B-U-S-T-O-S, dot com, and we'll have a link to that also on our on our homepage at TomHartman.com. Uh, Sherry, tell us about your, this is this is our taking our country back one congressional district at a time, letting people know about really good candidates out there who are running for office. Sherry, tell us about your campaign and yourself. Well, okay. Uh, well, you uh, nailed the first part of my bio. I was a journalist, a print journalist, for 17 years. Most of that time um, in the northwestern part of Illinois, which is where I'm based now and where I'm running out of. And the last 10 years of my career, I've worked in health care. And, uh, you know, so I have a pretty good understanding of um, health care, health care reform, how that would impact people. And uh, probably most notable is um, I am running against a Tea Party Republican in a Democratic-leaning district. And uh, That's good news. The, the front page of our newspaper talked today that this is the eighth most expensive race in the country now. Wow. We, in other words, Carl Rove and his buddies are, are pouring money into it against you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll have all kinds of third-party uh, players coming into this district. And, uh, you know, and, it, and it's really, we've got 36 days before the general election, and uh, it's, it, it hasn't really even begun to pour in. I mean, we're going to get millions more coming into this race. Wow. Wow. Yeah. So uh, people, people should know about this race. C-H-E-R-I, Sherry. Correct me if I'm wrong on any of this, right? No, you're, you're correct. Okay. Sherry, C-H-E-R-I, Bustos, B-U-S-T-O-S, dot com is your website. And and people can learn all about your race there, uh, whether they whether they happen to be in Illinois 17th District or not. Um, what do you see, what in your mind are the big issues in this race? Yeah, you know, um, we've seen some national ads at the presidential level on outsourcing. That's critical here. Let me Let me describe a little bit about this district. In this district, we have the world headquarters of John Deere. We also have the world headquarters of Caterpillar. And just outside, I mean, literally miles outside, we have a major uh, Chrysler plant that had been down to 200 jobs and now is up to 4,700 jobs. So that shows wow. you, uh, you know, a little bit about Mitt Romney's mentality of let the automotive industry go bankrupt compared with, um, you know, what the president was pushing. And now that's up to 4,700 jobs. So manufacturing is critical, mm-hmm. and, and we have a Bain Capital-owned company um, in the northern part of our district that two days after the election, um, many of, a hundred, of the 170 jobs that are going to be outsourced to China uh, will be gone exactly two days after the election. Wow. And so we talk a lot about outsourcing yeah. and, uh, you know, the, the, the failed policies that allow a company like this Bain Capital-owned um, company called Sensata is doing by shipping these these jobs over to China. Yeah. Uh, and, well, and Tom, to, to, to add insult to injury, though, the, the employees there, mm-hmm. they're being asked to train their Chinese replacements. Right. Yeah. And this is, this is uh, I mean, you know, Mitt Romney's used this as a business model for 20-plus 20, 20 years. This is not new. It's just it, I think a lot of Americans don't realize, you know, what's been going on. And yeah, I mean, even though he doesn't run Bain anymore, he's the heart and soul of that company that thinks this is okay to do this kind of thing. Right, and he owned 100% of the stock and was the CEO. In fact, I guess he do- does. Do you know if he does still own it or not? Well, I, He owns a you know, large chunk of it, I know. He still uh, benefits financially from it, although um, what I have read is that he donates um, money to charity from how he benefits. You know, I, yeah. who, who knows? Well, I'm sure he, he. It's also secret. <laughs> yeah, he made 14 million in dividends and uh, gave three million to uh, largely to the Mormon Church, but um, and and only by the way took a tax deduction for about a million of that, uh, presumably you know to keep his tax rate up. But uh, n- enough about Mitt Romney. L- l- I'd like to talk about you. Um, sure. We're talking with Sherry Bustos. C H E R I B U S T O S dot com is her website, and she is in a tight race against Tea Party Republican Congressman Bobby Schilling. And uh, what what separates you? What differentiates you from you, the 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 man you're running against? Oh gosh, it's kind of like what doesn't? Um, <laughs> you know, we're we're working hard and talking every day about the importance of making sure Medicare um, is sound, not just for the generation now, but future generations, um, and that uh, you know that it's not voucherized and that Social Security is not privatized. 
and that we we change some of these trade policies that actually offer incentives for companies to outsource. Mm-hmm. And uh, you know, we have a job creation plan that we announced on the first day of our campaign that does revolve around manufacturing since it's, an, it's such an important part of our uh, of our economic base in this district. Yeah, um, and and, and yeah, should yeah, be for I the mean, nation. Totally I mean, different. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Well, well, just totally different priorities, and mm-hmm. uh, you know, and th- and that's what we we want to talk about. Um, Time you had mentioned that it's a close race. We our polling that just came back last Tuesday, or, I'm sorry, last Thursday shows that it's a dead heat. Wow. And um, but the president's up significantly in this district, which means that uh, you know we we have to keep working on getting our messaging out there, and we can do this. That's that is great. We're talking with Sherry Bustos, C H E R I B U S T O S dot com is her website. A uh, former journalist running for Congress in Illinois' seventeenth district. Sherry, what can people do if they go to your website, C H E R I B U S T O S dot com? What can people do to help out? Well, they can they can take a look at uh, our positions and see if they're in sync with those. I I think if uh, you're a, a person who has a common sense uh, values, who um, honor uh, working families and, and middle class families, I think you'll see that that we would be in sync. Sure, the word. Um, how far is the 17th district from Chicago? Where where is the 17th district? It, it's west of Chicago by about uh, an hour and a half. Okay. Um, for for those of your listeners who uh, know Illinois, Rockford is in the district, Peoria, oh. uh, the Rock Island, right. and then Galena. Those are kind of the four points. It's a very large district geographically. Right. Uh, but but west of Chicago. Yeah. Okay. Well, Sherry, I wish you the very best, and thanks hey, for coming on the program. Um, well, Great. yeah. Thank you. I sure appreciate the opportunity. Great talking with you once again. It's Sherry Bustos, C H E R I B U S T O S dot com. Her website. Check it out. Sherry, best of luck, and uh, and hopefully we will talk again with you as a member of Congress.